Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we'll be performing a t-test for one sample mean using IBM SPSS 26. For this video, I prepared the data set that we're going to be using. And if you have any question on how to prepare data set, look for my other video on creating data set in SPSS. So here we're looking at this data set and we're going to check the hypothesis that let's say the mean age is at least 26 or at most 26 or equal 26 whatever hypothesis test that you're doing so we're going to look and go to analyze compare means and one sample t-test initially this will be zero and you will have all your variables over here so the first thing you have to do is choose the variable you're doing the test for enter the test value which is in your null and alternative hypothesis so let's say we're testing for the mean to be 26 at least most or equal and then make sure you click on options and choose the right significance level that you're looking for. Now here, of course, SPSS asks for the confidence level, which is one minus the significance level. So if you're doing a 5% significance level, you should enter here the confidence level as 95%. If you're doing 2%, you can change this to 98 and so on. So we're doing 95%, which is a 5% significance level and test value is 26 that's all the things that you need once you click ok you'll see in the output menu the result of the t-test now here you have to be careful with what the t-test gives you of course it gives you the count the mean standard deviation and the standard error of the mean but this is what we care about the values here the t-stat or the t-value here 1.49 that's the observed t-value t-test value, the degree of freedom, and this is the p-value. It's called the significant two-tail test. Now this value, you have to be careful with it. This is for two-tail. If your hypothesis test is one tail, you need to divide this by two before you make a decision in comparing it to alpha or not. Remember that if p is less than alpha, reject if p is greater than alpha fail to reject okay and that's the mean difference and this is if we're doing the uh, confidence level this would be the lower and upper confidence level value so the key thing here is the t value if you're using the critical value to compare the t test look where this falls in the critical region or not to the left to the right so on and this value here is the p-value make sure you divide this by two if it's a one tail test and use the same value if it's a two tail test that's basically how we can perform the t-test using SPSS thank you for watching and look for other tests on how we perform t-test for two samples and other videos.